What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are actually checking out a super cool mod that pretty much brings the 1.19 update into Minecraft. These are of course just some of the features shown off at Minecraft Live and not all the features are even put into the game yet, but this mod hopes to put all the features that were shown off in the trailer into the game before the update. This is such a cool mod for getting a concept idea of what is to come in the 1.19 wild update. The first things we are checking out today is the brand new mobs, the frog and the tadpole as well as the fireflies. Now in this mod the fireflies are really just uh, some sort of effect that is around the frogs, you're not really going to see them anywhere but just around the frogs. But these tadpoles you can find in the water and you can also get buckets of tadpoles. Of course you can only pick up one tadpole in the bucket right now, although it has been mentioned that tadpoles are super small and you should be able to hold multiple, but we'll see what actually comes in the real update. Also, if you guys want to check out this mod for yourself, it is for Forge and on Curse Forge. I'll put the link for it down in the description below. Unfortunately, it is in 1.16 and 1.17, but not in 1.18 yet. Uh, hopefully, this mod gets updated to 1.18 so we can actually see all the cool stuff with the new world generation. We also have some brand new blocks brought to us by this mod that relates directly to the mangrove tree. So of course we have the log, the strip log, and then the different types of wood like the stairs, planks, fence, and door. They have the button, everything that you think of with this wood they already have so far. They also have the leaves which are just uh, a little bit darker than the uh, leaves you can see on these swamp trees right here. And then there's also the root blocks as well. Now these colors are actually really close to the colors that we see in the trailer provided to us by Mojang and I think this wood just looks so nice. It's definitely going to be a great building material. I really like the look of these strip logs. The little reddish hue that it gives in these blocks is just so nice looking. The planks are also super nice. They're pretty much the oak planks but with that super red hue to them which I think looks super nice. And to give a little comparison of these planks, here is the acacia planks and also the jungle planks and how these planks really differ. That red is definitely super nice and should make some interesting builds later on. These root blocks are also super cool. The mod developer decided to take the root blocks and make them in the form of leaf blocks so they're going to break just as easily as leaves. They sound a lot like leaves when you're placing them down and breaking them and I think that's a great way to base these root blocks off of although I kind of pictured them being a little thicker and related more to wood than they were to leaves. It really makes me wonder what Mojang is going to decide to do as far as the root blocks go. Are they going to be closer to leaves or are they going to be closer to wood in the final update? We also have some brand new blocks as far as mud goes. So we have the mud blocks and the mud bricks and I think these look super nice, super close looking to how they were shown off in the trailer. And what's interesting and something I hadn't really thought about previously is that they're easier to break with a shovel and I wonder if that's going to transfer over uh, as far as the mud bricks. Of course that makes sense for the mud but I definitely picture the mud bricks being a harder object so it should be interesting to see what Mojang decides to do as this is still mud. It is technically bricks but is mud bricks and so should probably be able to be broken by a shovel and also a pickaxe. Now in the trailer shown off at Minecraft Live, mud had a few different unique properties. It was created by putting a water bottle on a piece of dirt and could also make renewable clay by putting it on top of dripstone. These are both super cool features that I really hope to see in the final update and we actually have one of them so far in this mod. So I did test it out with the dripstone uh, just to see if it was a feature they included and it wasn't. I don't really expect this this early on in the mod. It is still being developed but they do have this uh, water bottle on the dirt effect to make the mud itself. The mud does seem to be a little darker in this mod than it is in the trailer but I really like the texture of it. As far as the new biomes go, such as the mangrove swamp, we don't have those yet in this mod, although this is going to look super cool when it is finally put in. I think the mangrove swamp is definitely going to be one of the coolest features of the new update. It just looks so cool, I especially love the concept art of it and how this looks in the game with all the different mangrove trees spread around this whole area and the ground being covered in mud as well. This is definitely going to be super fun to explore in the wild update, but we don't have it yet in this new mod. And speaking of biomes that haven't been put into this mod yet, the Deep Dark is also one of those. Now this mod is in 1.17 so that does make a lot of sense, but we do have the new Skulk Blocks and also the Warden and this thing is absolutely terrifying. 
Now the skulk blocks don't actually work the same way that Mojang showed off in the trailer yet, they are still being developed, but the blocks themselves are in the game, such as the skulk catalyst, the skulk growth, everything like that, and also the warden is here too. The warden isn't blind yet, so it will just come right at you if it sees you. I'm in creative right now, so it's not attacking me, and it also turned out to be stuck on the roof I figured out afterwards. But the darkness effect is definitely terrifying, especially when you're in these caves, you can see absolutely nothing. And the Warden is super OP. This thing is definitely going to mess you up in the real game. So it is stuck in the ceiling right now, which is why it isn't attacking me. But I did get close enough just to see how much damage it was due. I was wearing full netherite armor, not protection 4 though, and it killed me in one hit. So it is definitely stronger in this mod than Mojang showed off, since it killed King B Dogs in two hits and it killed me in one hit. I really can't wait to see this mod get developed further and give us some more concept ideas of what 1.19 is going to be like. Of course there are huge things the mod has not done yet such as the deep dark cities that would definitely take a long time to make so it'll be interesting to see if the mod even tries to add something like this as this is a huge structure update. I do absolutely love what the mod has included so far, I thought it was super cool to see all the uh, new frogs, tadpoles, and fireflies in these swamps. I really like the look of the new blocks it's included as well, such as the mangrove tree blocks and also the mud and mud bricks. Definitely going to be some very cool builds with all of those blocks and I'm very excited to see those. The skulk blocks are also looking great so far, I really can't wait to see all the features of them and also the warden be added in as well, such as the blindness and the ability of the warden to actually smell the player. I highly recommend you go and check out this mod, as I said it's for Forge 1.17 right now and I'll put the link for it down in the description so you guys can go and check it out for yourself. This mod definitely makes me super excited for the 1.19 update. Of course, we aren't going to get this update for a long time. The earliest I'd say we'd get it is next summer, but it may even come out later in the year. We really have no idea right now, and it could take a while to add in all the cool features that Mojang has released to us so far. That is all that we have for today though guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like on it and if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button as well. We have a ton of different Minecraft content and should have some new very interesting content coming out very soon, so be tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.